YouTube and welcome to another video of the CompTIA Security Plus 701. So we have a performance-based question that's fill in the blank and this is about intrusion prevention. So I recently took my Security Plus and had to do something very similar to this. Obviously it's a bit different. I didn't copy it or no, I changed some things up, but it's a similar concept. So what is the IPS? What is the intrusion prevention system? It basically prevents um, incidents, or if it finds a behavior that's strange, it'll uh, report it, try to stop it. Really depends on the kind of IPS you have or you're using. Okay, so let's take a look at this question. I head down here. I guess I'll go over the transmission bytes. Okay, so you'll be presented with the network. You'll be presented with a firewall, and you'll be presented with some different logs like this. Um, I think some of these PPQs will overwhelm you. They'll just kind of give you too much information, and you won't really know where to look. So before I even analyze a whole lot, I just look for the basics. Okay, what kind of network is it? What kind of IP address is it? Um, maybe kind of look over the ports and the applications real quick just to see them. Um, okay, pretty normal stuff, right? And then um, you'll have some logs to review as well. Um, so these are the IPS logs. Okay, like I said, just kind of skim it, scan over real quick. Go fast, see if you see anything. You've got the IP addresses of those computers. Okay, we'll look in the details more later. And then, yeah, look at the question and look very specifically what it wants you to do. Look at the words and the verbs. It'll tell you what it's looking for. You might even have logs in different material. It's, it's too much info. So yeah, preview everything, skim through it, and then understand the question. That helped me a lot. Okay, so let's read these questions. Where did the infection originate? What happened after the infection? What kind of IPS is this based on its actions? Okay. Uh, how do I go back? There we go. Okay. So then let's look for more detail. What kind of network is this? What kind of IP addresses are they? Well, the firewall has a WAN address, um, one that's on the public internet, okay? And that routes ISP internet into your network. And here we have private IP addresses that are 172.16 and then some numbers. So those are reserved, those are class B. Okay, we got WAN address, we have LAN address. I mean, pretty small network. Maybe this is a segment of a network or a part of a network. Okay, so we know the hosts. We know the WAN IP. Um, we have some applications like TLS, RPC, remote protocol, uh, remote session protocol. Uh, SMB, server message block, ICMP, like a ping or echo request. So nothing too crazy, right? Normal traffic. Nothing out of the ordinary just yet. Okay, let's, let's go to the next fight. Well, things are not very normal here. Um, here you'll see the big red flags and you'll know what's wrong. Let's talk about IPS, what they do, what kind of actions they take. In this instance, this is going to be more like an antivirus or it'll make uh, uh, or it'll try to make its own definition. It's quite intelligent if it finds some malicious action. It might not even be a file, may, maybe a behavior or, or a, yeah, it could be many different things. Anyway, let's take a look at the box. So we have these different IPs, .9, .10, .11, 12, 13, and 14. So what happened on nine? Um, nothing, right? Looks like all these alerts went off or something funny happened on the network. 
and try to do these scans all at the same time. This one was fine. There's nothing going on there. Okay. Um, well, this one also tried to do a scan, but didn't remove anything. However, this one's a bit different. Do you see something on the bottom there? And then on 11, that's not the same as 10. What's different? What did it find? You can now see that there's a new definition that's been added. That new definition is either a file or a behavior, or it matches what that is, and it's able to block it. So it looks like it was able to stop the other computers from being infected, although it tried on 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. And as you see here, explorer.exe is a very common executable you use for your file explorer. However, there's two E's here. So stuff like that, mm -hmm. naughty, naughty, you'll, you'll see things try to get in that way through executables. Okay, so let's go to the question. Okay, where did the infection originate? Where did we see it? What computer was it on? What was the first one to have it? Who got infected? Who made that new definition? Answer to that is dot 10. Okay, what happened after the infection? So dot 10 got infected. What happened after that? Um, well, it was alerted of what happened, the behavior or the executable, a definition was made, and then um, future actions can be taken based on that definition. So that's what happened. They made a new definition to match that behavior. Okay, what kind of IPS is this based on its action? Well, we can see that it it is a, a pretty good IPS. It can detect um, strange behaviors and then take intelligent actions based on that. So this is a heuristic model or it's used with artificial intelligence as well to try to learn um, different kinds of attacks and make responses based on that. Even if there's not a definition or even if it's an unknown attack or zero day or something new, it'll try to make and find that pattern and try to prevent it from happening again. Okay, cool. So did you guys like this PBQ? Um, I thought it was pretty fun and I saw something like that on my exam, but it won't be exactly the same. You'll just have to study and be prepared. So thanks for watching and good luck on your exam, everybody.